Hi boys and girls, I have a, a Mark Brown story for you. Again, Mark Brown is our author of the month for the month of June. This one is called Arthur Babysits. Arthur Babysits. Now Mark Brown, not only does he write the stories, but he illustrates them, so he draws the pictures as well. Okay, and so he's the one who created Arthur, the character Arthur. Okay, hope you enjoy it. Ooh, babysitting, mm, that's a tough job. Let's see. Arthur's sister DW had a problem. The Tibble twins are visiting again and they're driving me crazy, she said. They're everywhere I go. Oh, they can't be that bad, said Arthur. How would you know, said DW. Look, later that afternoon, Arthur and DW took Kate for a walk. Kate, of course, is their little sister. Look, shouted the Tibble twins, there's DW. Oh no, said DW, quick, let's hide. Mrs. Tibble looked worried. Hmm, I'm in a terrible pickle, she said. I need a sitter for my grandsons tonight and I can't find one anywhere. Arthur can do it, said DW. He babysits me all the time. Oh, Arthur, you're a lifesaver, said Mrs. Tibble. I'll call your mother and set it up right now. Babysitting is such a big responsibility, said Arthur. I'm a little nervous. You'll do a fine job, said mother. We'll be right here if you want to call us, said father. Here's my crash helmet, said DW. You'll need it. Why, asked Arthur. Are you coming along? You think I'm trouble, said DW? You just wait. On the way, Arthur walked by the sugar bowl. Hey, Arthur, called Buster. Where are you going? Well, I'm on my way to babysit for Mrs. Tibble, said Arthur. Oh, not the terrible Tibble twins, a gasped Prunella. My sister babysat for them once, and once was enough. You can always back out, said Buster, while you're still alive. Don't worry, said Francine. It will be just like babysitting DW and baby Kate. Arthur remembered what that was like. Kate peed on him. Kate cried. DW cried. Oh no, she puked. DW was crazy, jumping up and down. Now Arthur was really worried. Oh dear. Mrs. Tibble was waiting for Arthur. I'm so glad you're here, she said, and so are the twins. This is little Tommy in red and Timmy's in blue. Almost bedtime, darlings. I'll be back soon. Very soon, I hope, said Arthur. Nighty night, Grammy, said the twins sweetly. Hmm. She's gone, screamed the twins. Playtime, bang, 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 bang. No, bedtime, said Arthur. We're not sleepy, said Timmy. Oh dear. The phone rang and it was DW. I called with some advice, she said. Calm them down with a quiet game, like cards. Thanks, said Arthur, bye. How about a nice quiet game of cards, said Arthur. Great, said the twins. We know a really good card game, said Tommy. Hmm. 52, pick up, they screamed. And of course, what did they do? They just threw them in the air, right? And just then the phone rang again. It was DW. Sounds like they're out of control, she said. You need to show them who's boss. Thanks a lot, said Arthur. Let's play cowboys, said Tommy. I'll be the sheriff, said Arthur, because I'm the boss. Yeah, and we'll be the bad guys, said Timmy. Hmm. The next time the phone rang, Timmy answered it. Arthur can't come to the phone right now, he said. He's all tied up. Time for hide and seek, called Tommy. You'll never find us. When Arthur finally got loose, he searched and searched. Oh, if I don't find them soon, he thought, I'm gonna be in big trouble. Just then the phone rang again. What's going on over there? Asked DW. Shouldn't they be in bed already? I can't talk now, said Arthur. I'm looking for the twins. You mean you lost them? Shouted DW. Uh, not exactly, he said. I just can't find them. Oh, you are in really big trouble, said DW. What are you gonna do? Just then Arthur noticed the curtains wiggling. You'll see, he said. Oh, I sure hope I find them before the swamp thing does, he added loudly. Swamp thing? asked Tommy from behind the curtains. <gasps> yeah, it's the one that comes out at night, just like tonight, said Arthur. Sit down and I'll tell you about it. Arthur used his spookiest voice once in a dark, spooky swamp. There lived a horrible, big, slimy, stinky, green swamp thing, he began. <gasps> you mean like a monster? Tommy asked meekly. 
Exactly, said Arthur, with long, sharp teeth. And the swamp thing realized it was very, very hungry, said Arthur. It left the swamp in search of dinner. Um, what did it like to eat? Timmy asked in a shaky voice. Boys, said Arthur, especially twin boys. <laughs> The twins moved closer to Arthur. The swamp thing began to moan for hunger, continued Arthur, until it came to a big old house just like this one. I hear footsteps, cried Timmy. It's only your imagination, said Arthur. You want to sit on my lap? Well, maybe just for a minute, said Timmy. Slowly, whispered Arthur, with its big slimy green hand, the swamp thing opened the front door I smell dinner, it said, and it licked its lips. Help, screamed the twins. It's coming in our front door, yelled Timmy. Ah! Just then, the door did open, and the lights went on. I'm home, said Mrs. Tibble. Oh, and look at my little angels. Arthur must be a wonderful babysitter. Oh, he's not scared of anything, said Timmy. And he tells great stories too, said Tommy. We want him to babysit again. The twins hugged Arthur goodnight. And then Mrs. Tibble paid Arthur and thanked him for doing such a fine job. Wow. When Arthur got home, DW was still up. You're home early, she said. Did you get fired? Nope, said Arthur. Babysitting isn't so bad. Mrs. Tibble thinks I'm pretty good at it. Now she wants me to babysit the twins every afternoon right here at our house. And since you know so much about babysitting, you can help. Ah! Hope you enjoyed the story about Arthur babysitting. Love you and miss you all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.